Hey, today's episode of YKWD, you know what, dude, is brought to you by Canva Pro. Design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you use my promo code. Just go to canva.me slash YKWD to get your free 45-day extended trial. That's Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash YKWD. Canva.me slash YKWD. Yeah, baby. We're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude? Live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKWD. I started a social media and podcast. <laughs> the back. The YKWD podcast. YKWD is back again. Old school. Back in the day. Where it all started. Before them all. YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're ruining this. Where's the Bargana, man? Sorry. It's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. You know what, dude? What's up, everybody? Yes, we're back. Uh, you know what, dude? Podcast, the one of the longest running podcasts in the fucking planet. And uh, we've been doing this for a very long time. Me, myself, and I with a bunch of uh, other very talented comedians. Because, you know, look, I can't, I can't swing it on my own. You know what I mean? I'm not a fucking... I can't be out here just yapping because I'll run down a fucking dead end, slam into a brick wall. We'll do a 10-minute podcast. But I can sure as hell fucking open the show. First of all, I want to thank all the new members of the Patreon, patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. If you haven't joined, please join now. Go there. If you're watching here, you should be over there and join up. It's the price of a cup of coffee. You get a bunch of shit. There's all kinds of levels. Uh, and I want to say thanks to all the new people that have joined. Uh, next month, we have uh, uh, Ari Spears is coming on. We got another special guest I'm working on. So next month is going to be fucking spectacular, too. This month has been nuts. We had Tim Dillon, Andrew Schultz. And tonight, we have uh, one of the regs, one of the originals, a.k.a. The Truth. Joe List is here, and his wife, Sarah, will be joining us. They're running into a little internet problems. Hopefully, we're fixing it. Uh, I, I guess in Queens, it gets a little rough. And, of course, we have the mush, uh, a.k.a. the mush, 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 the San Antonio fucking Mexican, the uh, the Texas three, as we call him, because he's the size of three people. And the ladybugs are in the chat. They're in there right now watching live. This is the unedited version of YKWD. And uh, we also do the extra 15 at the end. It's 10, 15, 20, whatever we do. That's for Patreon only. So subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. You know you like it. Okay? Like it. Subscribe it. Comment. Join the Patreon. Let's fucking do this. So let's introduce everybody right now. Uh, we got, of course, oh, there he is, Joe, the truth, and Sarah. Uh, <laughs> why did, Why haven't you taken Joe's last name, like in the middle? Uh, I tried, and then it was such a pain in the ass that I, I turned it back. <laughs> you gave his name back? <laughs> what? Sarah List? I know. Well, you have to you have to do all this stuff to change your name. What? What? I, well, first of all, I didn't have any time because I w had a day job at the time and then doing shows at night. So I put everything in an envelope and sent it off to the government office to change it. But it, I never received it. So all of my documents went missing. So then I had to go back to Social Security Administration and then get everything done from scratch. But then they found it. And then I was like, this is so much of a pain in the ass. I just want I'll go back to my last name. Joe, did that bother you or do you you not give a fuck? You don't give a fuck. No, I don't give a fuck. First of all, I'm a feminist, as everybody knows. I love cunts. And um, <laughs> I I said from the get go, I was like, don't take my name. It's stupid. It doesn't it doesn't. There's no need. You're already a professional. She was going to keep her professional name anyways. And I don't right. care. I, I own her. I don't need her to have the same last name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did you say? I you own know? her. She belongs <laughs> yes. to me. We had the right. ceremony. Right. You did the ceremony. I know that yeah. I was part of you owning her. Yes, I'm very proud of that. It's a very yeah, it was an exchange of property. Yeah. Yes, I'm so glad when you uh, 
when you got your new your new ownership of Sarah. That was an awesome day. <laughs> yeah, she got herpes and I got ownership over her life. So the name thing wasn't that important to me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and Sarah List is it's it's Sarah List sounds like some type of sausage patty from like you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like Jimmy Dean sausage. Yeah, like yeah. try the new Sarah List sausage patty <laughs> down here in Mississippi. It's the only sausage we know. Sarah thought, List. <laughs> I thought about changing my name to Joe Talamash. I kind of like that. Joe, no, Joe Talamash is a uh, chess player, and he, he's he's a sword player. A uh, sword yeah. fighter. No, you, Joe, Joe Talamash, you do not want to be that guy. Or you could I'll combine just... it and be Jalamash. Jalamash? Mm. Yeah. Ooh, that would be good. And you could put like a, uh, get an orange hunter's hat and put it just on the back of your head where it looks like it's going to fall off during your set, but it never does. How does that happen? <laughs> I've seen it. What the fuck is that uniform that everybody's wearing nowadays? We were just what talking is... about. Oh, go ahead, Seth. No, what uniform is everyone wearing? I've seen all these comics seem to be wearing wool hats on the back of their, just the back of their heads. It's not a, it's not a, a my head's cold. It's a thing where they, I guess like it's like a baseball out? hat. No, Springsteen huh? did it. Springsteen did it like in like seven, early Springsteen, like 72 to 74. Ooh, he had it going. Yeah. But now I think it's, it's become a cool look. I know what you're talking about. There's a few guys that rock it. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people that rock it. I was in Chicago. A lot of the, the new hipsters are wearing the wool hat on the back of the head. Uh, I mean, even our lovely Joe Russell, who we love here, and we love it the Calter and Kelly, who does his new five minutes and is the star of the cheese show. Have you seen the cheese show, guys? We know about yeah, the cheese we show. We drove him home. Yeah, we drove yeah. him home one. Yeah, well, he wears it on the back of his head. What the fuck did you just do? I got bad gas. Ugh. Max, you know, can I talk about this? My son has the worst gas of, I mean, of anybody I've ever met. He's like a 95-year-old woman. And he's, we're at the diner tonight, and the waiter comes over. He's like, yo, can I get a napkin? <laughs> and I'm like, Maximus. And it's so loud that you can't help but laugh while you're scolding him. Yeah. But, and he's like, what? And he goes, Wah. he does it again. I'm like, what? I hope he's not one of those fart on cue guys. You know what I mean? Are you guys a fart family? You're a fart family. Um, that's a good question. So you, what you're asking is, do we all fart? Now here's Dawn. <laughs> it's so funny because last night was the first time she farted in front of me in probably years, <laughs> but last night was horrific. I thought she <laughs> shit in bed. I thought she shit herself. I literally, the dog jumped off the bed. Um, and jumped on the floor and sat and slept on her bed for like on the floor. For like during, it was, she sat in bed and she, she was trying to keep it tight. And when she scooched her knees up, her asshole just opened it. Just the seal broke. And, <laughs> and I was like, what I lit. I literally, cause I've never heard her fart. I was like, what the fuck? And she's yeah. giggling. And I'm like, what's wrong? And she's, I'm like, what was that? And she's, Wah. and she did two more. And then the smell was fucking disgusting. Oh. It's like she ate beef, like dinty more beef stew. Uh, <laughs> it was like and, at the uh, beach all day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> just just seawater in your asshole. Seawater, <laughs> lobster rolls, and pizza. Just oh, fucking <laughs> gross. And so Dawn doesn't fart, but Max and Dawn doesn't care. She's like, what? Leave him alone. It's just a fart. And I'm like, I know that, but I just don't want him to. I think there should he should know, you know, there's certain places where you can toot, and certain places you got to kind of let it come out a little sneaky, you know. Well, yeah. what what we have here is a fart family, and the reason Sarah brought it up is my my <laughs> best friend Derek, who family. you've 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 met, my friend Derek, he, and you know they they like to fart, and it's funny, pull my finger and rip it, and then after dinner you stand up and you fart. But he was, we were laughing because he had to tell uh, my niece, his kid, Brooke, who's eight, and he had to say they were going to someone else's house and she rips farts. It'd be funny. He had to say, he had to sit her down and be like, listen, we're a fart family, <laughs> but not every family is a fart family. So you can't do that. You have to feel out if they're a fart family. Because when I was growing up, we were not a fart family. I've we never heard either of my parents either. fart. 
No, Sarah's family's British, so if you fart, they fucking shoot you or something. <laughs> you throw yeah. hot shoe in your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we okay. both grew up in a non-fart family, but it sounds like you're raising your kid in a fart family, which I think I, is good. I don't... Yeah. I Listen... I think Morgan Murphy said Morgan Murphy said it to me once. If you don't laugh at farts, I don't want to know you. Exactly. You know I mean? If you don't, if when somebody farts and you don't think it's funny, if you've ever used a fart app and didn't laugh your ass off at the wet mosquito, you're you're not a you're not a funny person. You have no soul. No. But I I don't want to have, I don't want a fart family. I think we're half fart family. I think. My I half, your part family. I think <laughs> Dawn doesn't fart. Dawn doesn't fart ever, but she's letting him fart. I fart, but I don't want him to fart. Do you understand the, the fucking confusion I'm having? Like, I'm mm. the farter, and I don't want him to be a fart family. No, father, father. I'm a father. <laughs> You're I, a farter. <laughs> I, I, I want to stop the, I want to stop the fart farting in my. You know, see, I don't. I want to raise a better family. I want his family to be better. But Dawn's raising him to be a farter. I, I mean, yeah. one of your favorite Instagrams ever is him farting on news. Yes, the best. We the watch best. it pretty regularly, actually. Like every couple of weeks. By the way, the the Butter King just <laughs> just nailed it. Bobby's in denial. You're yeah, you're a fart family, and I think you embrace it. It doesn't mean you're low class people. It means you're fun people. You just have to say, Max. We're a fart family. Other families aren't. So you can't go to, you know, whatever the, the butterscotch house or I couldn't think of a last name. I don't know why I said butterscotch. <laughs> that was terrible. The what? gnomes family, whatever. Dwar you can't go to the Dwarman's house no. and nope. say and, and, and fart. Gnomes an no. intellectual, you know. Well, you go to gnomes house and you fart and he'll be like, Robert. That would be like, <laughs> Robert. And it's like, I don't, are you mad at me or are you are you? Do you hate me? Like, I don't know. Are you, are you laughing? Like Robert, like that thing. I, I, I yeah. farted it. Like Max is tooted over there a couple of times. I farted on stage to where it's so bad that the front row, there was this chubby girl in the front row got mad at her boyfriend and punched him in the arm. And I, I literally like, that was me. Like, I'm so sorry, dude. She thought he tooted. It was disgusting. It was fucking yeah. gross. It can it change a, the tone of the room. People can be having a really great time, and you do that, and people get so mad. Oh yeah, <laughs> Keith Keith Robinson. You know, we would we. I hope we still do it. But me, uh, Manny has started the tradition at the cellar where he would bring all of us to Del Frisco's. Uh, me, Colin, uh, Keith, Norton. Um, 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 who else? Esty, Ava, uh, and then Gnome picked it up, Gnome and Juanita, and we'd always add someone else in the mix, you know what I mean? And uh, one night we were there leaving Del Frisco's, and we were all hanging out, just kind of talking. And Keith Robinson farted, and it fucked up the night like it ruined the <laughs> night, but he only farted out of half his ass. No, this is before the stroke. Oh. This is a full so Philly toot. This is a, this is a, this is a, I just ate everything at Del Frisco's and a fucking tomahawk steak. <laughs> so just, just mil milk fart, like milk steak farts. <laughs> just terrible, dude. And it fucking made other tables were really insulted. Like we had to leave Del Frisco's. It was fucking atrocious. So we yes, just had, we, Sarah and I just, as, as most people know at this point, Sarah and I just shot a, a huge NYU student film this weekend. Big blockbuster. This thing's yeah, no, big. I've heard about that. that there's a buzz on <laughs> West 4th. Yeah, it's the talk of the town. But there was a scene where they had to film uh, like a close up of people laughing and they got the crew to do it because you can't afford extras. So we had the crew, and then one of the women, she was like a, a woman on the crew, and she, they, she said, we need you to fake laugh. And she said, well, someone's got to make me laugh. And so I just ripped a fart, like a... <laughs> and all the guys on the crew started dying laughing. Sarah looked a little embarrassed, but the director and 
The other guy there was laughing. I thought it was hilarious, but uh, it bombed with all the women. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, it is a thing. I mean, look, let's be honest. Women aren't funny. Um, the thing <laughs> is, they really, they're just dead inside. I mean, they, yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Well, it's true. Women don't really <laughs> fart in front of each other, but only the cool ones do. A lady fart, it's just, it's a double standard. A lady fart is not funny. I'm sorry. Unless you're big fat. A big fat woman farting is funny. <laughs> like if like Melissa McCarthy throws her ankles over her heads and rips a fart, <laughs> that's funny. But like what Sarah farting just isn't funny. Yeah. <laughs> what about queefs? That's funny. Oh, Queefs Queefs are disgusting. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Queefs they make me smell. throw up. I don't, I don't care that they don't smell. They sound like they smell. <laughs> they sound like they smell like just old clams. Like, <laughs> I, I hate Queefs. I've never liked a Queef. It's made me, it's made me, anytime it's happened, I've always just wanted to immediately stop sex and like wait for her pussy to reset. Or do something. Yeah, sometimes like, you can't stop it. You got to blow in her mouth because that <laughs> blows the pussy out. out. Sometimes yeah. when I fart, I go, oh, sorry, I just queefed. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody thinks my pussy smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> but which it does, by the way. <laughs> That's because she wipes from the back forward. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> she keeps piling shit into her pussy. <laughs> Sarah Listen. didn't fart in front of me for years. It was like four years we were together, and then she squatted like a catcher, like fucking Rich Gedman, and it just went bloop, bloop, and she was so embarrassed. And then after that, it was like the floodgates open, the floodgates open. Where were you? Where were you seeing Carlton Fisk? Listen, because <laughs> it was a mediocre crouch. It wasn't a great crouch. Um, yeah, dude. I I don't I don't I've I don't even like I don't like. I get mad at Dawn when she if she takes a poop and there's a little like a little skid like she doesn't she needs I go you need to look back <laughs> I go you poo you need to look back like you're a serial killer like you just murdered somebody she just moves you on <laughs> well she's usually great with that but I it's like honey I can't I can't do that I can't I because now I'm gonna have to go piss that off. Oh, it's absolutely mortifying. I remember yeah. this one job I worked at within one week. They had, you know, how New York just has weak restrooms. Yeah. So I have to use there. It's in a room where we all share one room, and the only bathroom is like three feet away from everybody. And I really had to go, and I just stopped up the whole toilet. I was like, I have to. I had to leave. I felt like I had to quit my job. That's my girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you own her. I uh <laughs> yeah, dude. I uh yeah, I don't like I don't like I don't look at I laughed last night after, of course, because I'm funny. I have a sense of humor. Yeah. And, it, and I didn't I was so oblivious that it was a fart. I couldn't imagine her farting. And I couldn't imagine my wife's ass smelling like that. I mean, I hate I hate when I, I went to the bathroom today. And I never know when Dawn goes. She just goes and it's like when she's going to go sneak a cigarette when she takes a shit. We, no one ever knows. It's like, yeah. where's mom? I don't know. I think she's out in the back walking the dog. <laughs> she's just puffing on a pollen on 100 or fucking pinching out a loaf somewhere, right? <laughs> but I had to go pee today right after her and I had to walk into that heat. And oh. I, I hate the heat. I probably hate the heat more than if the dump was in the toilet. Just walking into just hot smell that was just fresh, <laughs> and I'm just, just, just ugh, unbelievable. Yeah, it will. Yeah, I mean, but there's gonna there's gonna be a day where I'm gonna have to wipe her ass. No. I mean, and, yeah, maybe. Well, if we live long enough, if we live till our eighties, nineties, there's gonna be a day where she's just gonna be shitting in the chair, and I'm gonna have to, or unless I make enough money where I can hire you know, an old Haitian lady to do it. Other than that, it's going to be me cleaning up her fucking colostomy bag. So I better get used to it, I guess. Right. Yeah, I think so. One time, listen to this. This is crazy. And Sarah's going to deny this. But one time we were making love and I was holding her ankles and I could see like half a shit sticking out of her ass. I I'm going to fuck it. I got to. That is I'm not gonna... true. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. That's not true, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that's. Uh, I, was just like, <laughs> I was in a rush. There's, <laughs> there's something really funny though about saying, guys. Just a heads up, she's gonna deny this, but. <laughs> I think Bobby quit. He, he turned his camera off. He might be throwing up right now. I, I can't fucking do this, guys. I can't. No. I'm never really, gone back. Gonna to dad. I'm never gonna look at Sarah. I'm always gonna be like, hey, what's up, Sarah? And that's gonna just the tail sticking out of her ass is gonna be in my head. I'm totally kidding. It's a it's a joke, guys. Well, I have that joke in my act about Dawn when when I never told her this until years after when she saw me do the joke. She when she was giving birth, <sighs> I saw that as Max was coming out, so was whatever she ate for lunch two days ago. <laughs> and I I fucking almost quit. I almost left and I almost left the hospital and became like Bill Bix Bixby and just grabbed the <laughs> nap sack yeah. and went through the Lincoln tunnel. <laughs> banana, banana, because I was like I might just leave this family that I've created because I don't know if I'm coming back from this. You know? God. Yeah, they don't have yeah. the childbirth videos. No, they they do the ones the one they do the ones in the fucking turtle tubs. Those fucking <laughs> those those goddamn those broads with uh, shaved sides of a heads who who just yeah. shit a baby out in a fucking living room. <laughs> they there's just bleh, shoots Ugh. out of their assholes. <laughs> And then they have to empty this. Someone has to empty that tub water, which is fucking oh. gross. They have to just funnel it out a window in Brooklyn off a second story. <laughs> they just broad wanted to fucking, she wanted to give birth like a caveman. Fuck her. You God. probably drink it for the nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this yeah. is a gross pod. I'm glad to hear Max finally came out. That's really, I'm proud of him. What are you talking about? You said Max came out. Max He's a little young, out. but that's really special. No, Max did. Max did not come out. Max is, <laughs> Max is not gay. And I, I've, I've, I've had a couple instances where he was like, "Yeah, dude, that's what girls do," you know? Because yeah. I've, I've, I'm like, "Dude, do you want a Barbie? I don't care." He goes, "No, those are for girls." <laughs> and I was like, "I was like, all right, cool, thank you." Great. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he, I, I got to stop right there because he did buy a journal today, <laughs> so. Yeah. Journal's nice. Sarah and I were watching a, a gay British movie last night, and it's pretty vulgar. Pretty steamy. What are you talking about? A gay British movie? What it's do you like mean? It's like Brokeback Mountain, but set in Wales. No, we Wales lost Bobby a very again. Nice place. No, that's a <laughs> no, that's a very nice place. I was just thinking, Wales is beautiful. We went there um, for a week last year. It was the best trip ever. We didn't get to have any steamy gay sex though. No. Let me ask you a question. So you watch a gay movie? And it was two gay guys or two gay women? Or was it gay everybody? Two, two gay guys. So two gay guys. Now you you watch this movie. Why would you watch is is, is it a an English movie? Is it an American movie? What is it? It's an English movie. I follow all these, you know, I'm a I'm a big film cunt, so I follow all these um Instagram, you know, uh cinephile and you know, film cinema bullshit. And it was like a, a poster and it said all these five star mesmerizing spellbinding, the best directorial debut, whatever. And I was like, oh, this is a movie. We love broke back. We love strangers by the lake behind Sarah there, which is like a porn movie, basically. And, you know, so I thought, let's watch this. But some of these movies, this it gets vulgar now because you got to keep one up. So this is like hardcore missionary gay sex. Well, I mean, Brokeback Mountain was pretty fucking vulgar. He spit in his dirty sheep hand and stuck a a, a unshowered fucking log into a guy's fucking I sh been shitting outside asshole for a month. <laughs> I mean, that's that's as fucking vulgar as you get. I mean, gee, even gay guys were like yucky. <laughs> this goes this goes pretty far. The one oh, really? this, this one, that's just a gay porn with an amazing plot. Aren't all gay porns like that? <laughs> no, I think some of the ones I watch, it's just straight into 69ing. I've heard about. <laughs> we just find out Joe's cinephile Instagram accounts are just gay porn film accounts. Yeah, they're, they're just like cruise sites, and I pretend and to be a cinephile. And he's just like, I'm really into film. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Joe, Joe has a pillow on his lap the whole time. <laughs> it's like, but it's like this- Keith. That's like Keith watching a rape scene. He's got to just keep a pillow on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> but Brokeback is like yeah. <laughs> is there's Great. one sex scene and they're fighting and then he spits on his hand and it goes off camera. This is like you see bare ass slapping against bare ass. So they, do you think now? Let me ask you a question because I always wonder this. In regular movies, do you think these guys are actually tagging each other in the fucking butt? That's a good question, uh, Sarah. I don't think so. Well, here's why. I just re- there's a movie that came out years ago with Vincent Gallo and um, Brown Chloe Bunny. Jean. It's called the Brown, Brown Bunny. Bunny. She actually performed fellatio and it ruined yeah. her career. And I feel like they don't. So they don't actually. It didn't actually ruin her perform. career. Well, it didn't. I know she, she actually got, got a. She got dropped by her agent after that. She got dropped by her agent. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure the, <laughs> that agent. Yeah, I'm sure after he was done jerking off to it, he dumped her. But listen. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, she actually uh, was on that polygamy show after that. Yeah. Which was a hit. And she's a, she's an independent. She's an independent, um, you know, movie making girl. I mean, she just stays in that that genre with that guy. There's yeah. a whole that whole independent film thing. You can make a lot of money in that world. You think it's not, but they make good money. And then they dip into roles. You know what I mean? She's one of my favorite actresses. She was at Louie's house once at yeah, the I barbecue. When, remember the barbecue with Max when he fell and you guys just looked at him? I was like, hey, Bob, the <laughs> kid fell. Remember that oh, one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, hilarious. When we, yeah, when we learned that you guys don't like kids. Um, well, he was in uh, love with Katie Hannigan. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? But she looks his age. Um, <laughs> she, so uh, that didn't even, I didn't even say that correct, but it worked. Um, <laughs> so she came, she was coming in the kitchen. Uh, you know, Louis' house, the kitchen area that from the outside to the inside, that little small area, she was coming out and I was going in and she stopped and she's stunning. Yeah. I mean, she's, she's beautiful. Who is this again? And, Chloe, so I never know how to pronounce her last name, but she's like oh, an right, indie right. darling. And I've she was in the movie Kids, and then her career's been pretty she's steady a, since. She was in Zodiac. Yes. Yes, yes. Zodiac. She's great. An American Zodiac. Psycho. She's yeah, she, a lot she, of stuff. she does a lot of crazy f- stuff, but she's always great. Um, and she was coming in the kitchen. I was going out, and she just stood and looked at me, and she bitched me back out. Like I just I just backed out. And it, was, and it was totally my right away. Like I was already three <laughs> feet into the kitchen. She was a half a foot to where she was. So I had right away. I'm bigger. You know, I'm a man, uh, <laughs> which I should have more. I have more rights. And uh, she bitched me. I just, I was like, hey. And I just backed out and I bumped into shit. And I was like, sorry. And she just <laughs> walked through me and didn't even say thank you. She just walked right up to like fucking some other famous person. I was just like. Hey, uh, she's, but she's stunning. She's beautiful, but she really did blow this guy on camera. And he had, he came too. And it was a, it was just a porn scene. I mean, it's a a fucking porn scene. Yeah. Yeah. I probably got booed at cans. Yeah, because she's sucking his dick. (laughs) And and he came. I mean, if they didn't let, if he didn't, if they could have just panned away at the the fucking money shot, yeah, yeah, he might have got away with it. You know what I mean? Because you'd be like, oh, that's a fake cock. Because he has a nice piece. I don't oh, know. Like, oh no, we can't. We can't be I fucking. Think I, I'm like, I'm definitely winning the Oscar with this. <laughs> and instead, your agent leaves you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, she this- is. She is an alien. She's an alien. Strangers- I mean, she is just sexy. Strangers by the lake, they're for sure blowing each other. I mean, they yeah, show them blowing yeah. each other and then they come. So this movie looked pretty real. I mean, if they're not, I don't know. I don't know how you would act and not get a hard on in those situations. I mean, <laughs> it's, the gay yeah. sex particularly. I don't know. Have you ever seen Blue is the Warmest Color? That's a lesbian movie. And that's got like a seven minute lovemaking scene in it. And it's so where you're like, I think they're actually fucking each other. Yeah, they always say they're not, but I think it's like the, I, th- I think it's like the steroid thing where they're like, no, yeah. just eating chicken and broccoli and working, you know, hard every day, and it's like, <laughs> fuck, the rock is juicing, 
uh, Chris Helmsworth, that Indian dude. That Indian dude went from a fucking nerd with no, no oh, yeah. stress. Yeah, they're all on fucking. My friend Joe was telling me all the shit they're on. They just juice. They go on a cycle. They do it with a doctor, and they and they get shredded in two months. And then they they say it's just dedication, just waking up every day at five eating chicken. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. You went from a fucking internet hacker body to uh, a fucking superhero in a month and a half. Yeah, and you're things. Indian. I just find an image. Enough. Just to shape that Indian. I've never seen an in shape Indian person in my life um, ever. Well, it feels like usually they're like um, like yoga bodies. Yeah, it's they're in shape, but it's not. It's a shape. It's not in. You know, it's not. Yeah, it's not abs. Yeah. Um, but I think the sex thing is the same thing. I think it's a look. I'm going to eat your pussy. <laughs> I'm going to suck your dick and I'm going to stick it in your, your ass a little bit. I'm going to rub, I'm going to rub my cock along your pussy shaft and it might go in. <laughs> there's some scenes that you're like, there's no way he's not eating her out right oh, now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, here's a, I can, we can show this picture because of the, this is from stranger on the lake. Yeah. Stranger by the lake. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And yeah, it looks like he's inside of it. It's just a silhouette. So. Yeah. yeah. No, that one's I, hardcore. Yeah. You guys got to watch that uh, movie. It's pretty good. Bobby, you would hey, love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hit the brakes. I love stuff like this. Did you know the average American has 97 points they can add to their credit score, but they don't know how to get them? Scoremaster is the new credit science that super boosts your credit score. Forget about raising your credit score a few points. Weak, lame, loser. Nobody does that. The average Scoremaster user raises their credit score 61 points in 20 days or less. 61 points. Say your credit score was in the 500 to 600s when you bought your new car. If you'd gone to Scoremaster first and raised your credit score just the average 61 points our listeners get, you could have saved nine grand on your car loan. Boom, nine grand. That's my dog squeaking his toy. That's, she's nuts over that. And if you had done Scoremaster before applying for your home loan and raised your score just the average 61 points our listeners get, you could have saved almost a hundred grand over the lifetime of your loan. You got to do this. Scoremaster puts you in control of your finances, not the banks. Enroll in minutes and see how many plus points Scoremaster can add to your credit score. Visit scoremaster.com slash YKWD. Scoremaster.com slash YKWD. I'm telling you right now, I love Canva Pro. I love this app on my phone. Be- you know, I'm not. I'm look. I'm a beginner. I know. I don't know how to design, but I know what good design looks like. I know when an ad looks awesome, when a flyer is popping. I, I, I just, I have an eye for it. I went. I mean, I went to school for that. It's just, you know, so hard to get it done. Not anymore. Canva Pro, right on my phone. They have the templates. You just go in, pick what you want. Instagram story, whatever. Click on that. It has templates. Pick your template. Pick your photos. Pick your text. Hit the button. It does it all for you, which I love. Canva Pro is the easy-to-use design platform that has everything you need to design like a pro. Canva Pro has everything you need in one place, including a collection of over 75 million premium photos, videos, audio, and graphics. It's right there. I love this app. You got to get it. Look, I don't care if you're doing a cooking show in front of two people uh, and you want people to watch. If you're a million dollar man comic doing arenas, you need to get this app. Design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now, you get a free 45-day extended trial when you use my code. Just go to canva.me slash YKWD to get a free 45-day extended trial. That's Canva, C A N V A dot me, M E slash Y K W D. Canva dot me slash Y K W D. I have no problem with watching that stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't even affect me. I can watch uh, gay porn. I've seen gay porn. To me, it's, there's, you know, there's one thing about gay porn is I think in a movie, it's a little better. Real gay porn, it's just, just the way guys would suck dick, just fucking. Eh, 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 eh. Hmm. There's no, like, there's no, 
There's no looking up and like may lollipop in it. Like, uh, <laughs> there's no, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't like a look up. It, it's too, cr- I don't like eye contact at the bank, let alone during a blowjob. Are Just you fucking keep your head down, head yeah, down. I like me and then... <laughs> <laughs> you blow people like Jackie O. <laughs> yeah. Sarah's, Sarah's the Ray Charles of blowjobs. And then when I, I I put them down, just be like, good, huh? <laughs> and then I put them back up. You you do this, you push them back up. Yeah. <laughs> you like no. that, huh? It's fucking. I suck that good, huh? <laughs> eye contact I, is weird. I, I, I love I I love I need eye contact. I need to know you're around. I need to know you're into it. I if I don't get eye contact, I feel fucked up. I feel like it's just this, like you're just doing it to get rid of me. You well, know? Now you tell me. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did. Ma- I did have. Believe it or not, I had a, a love making scene uh, in a TV show where I had to have sex with my wife, and um, I had to wear. I had to wear that thing over your peepee. It's like a nylon over your dick and balls. Yeah, I have one right now. <laughs> And uh, what show? It, Sex, love, and rock and roll? No, 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 no. Peace, and, love, uh, and rock and roll. Bronx it was uh, what was it? Bronx, Bronx Warrants. Yeah, Bronx Warrants. So when we we were actually, you know, she was on top of me grinding. My dick went inside. My dick got nervous. My dick literally left the out the outside world and went inside my body and was like hiding out. And I was so embarrassed. I almost wanted to fluff it a little bit. Because I know she was on top of me, not feeling a a bulge. Yeah, like she wasn't feeling my pecca. Well, you're being courteous. You, well, here's the thing: is that I should have been hard. I should like she was on top of me grinding, and I should have been like, "I'm sorry." Like I was all set to be, "Hey, I just want to say I apologize. I didn't mean for this to happen." But my dick was like, "Dude, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not into this." I'm just- it's. It's hard. How do you do a lovemaking scene in the era of of the Me Too movement? I don't understand how you would even do that. I don't know if you can. And there's there's fewer and fewer of them outside of the gay movies, of course. Which is there's no Me Too movement in the gay scene, evidently. What do you mean? I mean, you can have sex with a woman uh, on camera. Yeah, but you don't really Listen. see lovemaking scenes that often on any films. Any remember in the eighties, they always guaranteed like one. 10 minute love making scene with the montage. Yeah. yeah dum, and, dum, and, dum, dum, dum. Exactly. We not forget that women are still whores. <laughs> I mean, what, dude, what are you talking about? Women, women are still fucking want to be choked and their hair pulled and they still want you to fucking tell them to uh, do shit. And they, women still like that shit. They just want to be awake. You know what I mean? <laughs> They want to be awake and they don't want to have to do it to get a job. That's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's tricky to do it um, in a uh, in a movie setting, I feel like, in showbiz these days. I don't think so, dude. I think women, who, especially actresses, are very sexual people. You know, I think the whole showbiz thing is a sexual industry. And just because, you know, there's not producers doing casting couches anymore, you know, Um you, I think that, you know, people still, when you see, when you walk on the set and see another actor or actress that's smoking hot, I mean, most of these people, the top 10 people in the world look wise, yeah. why would they not want to fucking suck face, you know? And they're going gonna, gonna to rehearse back in their fucking, their hotel. Hey, you want to come up and rehearse? And then they just start making out. I mean, I, I, I did that in acting class all the time. Every girl I ever had a scene with, we wound up fucking around. Do you have the number of any of those acting schools? Uh, <laughs> P. Kelly. P. <laughs> Kelly. Remember the Harrison Project? No. Oh, dude. Every girl I ever did a scene with, we wound up kind of messing around. Or I'll say this. There was tension, like sexual tension mm. in the air. Oh, yeah, dude. I remember there was this one girl. She had to be like fucking 280. Italian girl. And I got a scene with her and we were supposed to, uh, you know, we were just breaking up or something like that. And she was like, come over to my house. And I walked in. She baked me a fucking eggplant palm. She had fucking pasta, yeah, garlic bread. Two hours. And then I, I was talking, I was joking her. Uh, we were doing the scene. We were eating. That was it for like, I was, I was there for hours. And we we're doing, finally doing the scene. And uh, 
I don't know. I, I said I got a. I, I said I had a fucking uh, an earring through my cock. Just joking around. She goes, "Show me," and I go, "No, I can't show you." And she just undid my pants and took my my pecker out. Oh, fun! Yeah, it was great. Fucking added to the scene the next week. Acting, you know? <laughs> acting. Did you have an earring in your cock? No, I just fucking lied so she wanted to see my cock. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're gonna have a little. Girls are very curious. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, if you say, "Hey, my my uh my cock is pink," let me see that. No um, way. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God, Sarah. <laughs> no, no way. I don't. I, I don't know if I could. Uh, I don't know if I could. I think on a scene like that, like an independent movie like that, have dudes. It's probably a very small set. It's probably a camera and the director, and those guys probably went to town. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, yeah. and th- that's a different thing. That's like this is the gay sex movie, yeah. and I think that's yeah. more that's more um, edgy and progressive. I think we did the heterosexual thing on camera already. What do you mean? I'm saying like nowadays, it's like that was the '80s. We did that throughout the '70s and '80s, naked sex. I see. Now yes. to be yes. edgy, to push the envelope, you have to have two guys really fucking hardcore. Oh, now, if you I just mean, have an yeah. actor and an actress fucking, it's like, oh, what is this? Some old bullshit we used Pack. to do. Pack, exactly. But now now you got to have two men. There's tons of lesbian period dramas in the last few years. Like SNL just Ugh. did a sketch about it with how many, tr- it's so many of them that they have tropes now. Absolutely. What? They had the, these lesbians with their periods. How disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Down it. Um, <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> Lady on Fire was great, though. We love that movie. Yeah, and it was spicy. It, it's funny too because if uh, you do look back at the '80s, it was just a the '80s and '90s was just tits and ass. Like yeah. every movie had to have some chick. I mean, for nothing, just some blonde chick with a headband going woo and her tits shaking and like you know, just I mean, Porky's, uh, Last American Virgin. I Revenge mean, of the Nerds. Revenge yes. of the Nerds. Every movie had TNA in it. Every horror movie had the hot chick that would be banging and her tits would be out. Um, 70s too. We watch all these foreign films. Sarah and I got really into foreign films during pandemic and they have tits just like Like they're hanging out. Like, yeah. like they're <laughs> just sitting on the couch watching TV and it's just like bad posture and their tits are hanging out. Yeah, yeah, but it's the, like but the, Nat Geo. Yeah, but foreign tits aren't fucking sexy. Let's be honest. <laughs> They're pointy. 19, foreign tits 19, are always pointy. 1980, 19, early 90s, American tits, California, American tits were probably the best tits of, of all of any year. 80s, 90s tits, American titty movies. Holy shit. Come on. I'll put yeah. those tits up against any tits ever. Yeah, there's some weird tits. The first tits I ever saw on film or anywhere was in The Godfather, Apollonia, and she had weird tits. Her nipples and, and skin is the same color, which is very off-putting. I need a different tone on the nipple. Yeah, I, I agree with the 70 tits being weird. I have an example right here. One of the chat yeah. members sent us. Also, they always had tan lines. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is why Louie is fucking nuts, okay? This is why Louie... <laughs> He's fucking nuts. First of all, I look good in that compared to what I am now. All right. I, I have a picture of I'm gonna I'm gonna share I have a picture of my tits. I, I was lying. I was oh, this is how bad it is. I'm try I gotta lose weight. I was lying down the other day and I saw my tits. I was on FaceTime. I saw my tits. I was shirtless. My tits look like a like an in shape guy's ass and just a little bit of his balls. <laughs> I'll, you don't you know that you don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, I'll show you. You ready? Here you go. You'll fucking see what I'm saying. This is <laughs> fucking nuts. This looks like my these. Are... Yeah. Oh wow, that doesn't like ass and balls. That looks like a nice guy, like an in shape guy's ass, and then just this little fucking <laughs> nuts right there. Those are my bit. tits and my chin. <laughs> oh god. Anyways. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I the I think the the first titties I saw were volcano titties on TV, which were gross. You know the volcano, like they just 
they just come out and then like it looks like a little volcano. Looks like somebody sucked their nipples, their titties up in a with a straw. <laughs> I like uh, Sarah. Sarah in the chat is mentioning Christine Brinkley, but I thought Beverly D'Angelo's tits in Vacation were just mind blowing. Yeah, and she was smoking like, hot. People like Jamie Lee Curtis's tits from yes. Trading Spaces. Those are oh. well known. And Phoebe yeah, Cates no. from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh, Fast Times! The, the, forget it. It's not even worth no. talking about Fast. I feel like we're going to end up divorced if we talk about Fast Times. The, I'll Phoebe jerk off Kate, right now. The the just one of the guys. Is the best. Yes. Just one of the guys. I love the best that movie. Ever, ever, <laughs> ever on TV. First of all, she was dressed as a guy, which made it even hotter because every guy was like, oh my God, there's just a hot dude with tits uh, in a tuxedo. The best tits ever. I don't know yeah. if you can show them. Can we show them? They got to be a blurred out version. I mean, I don't. That, if I'll you haven't seen that, it is, she has the best tits ever. I've, I'll find and that it. was. That was back when you had to when you that movie came on, you had to get prepared because there was no TiVo. There was no it wasn't gonna be on again. <laughs> you had to be like it's <laughs> here's what Joe was it. talking about. You know what I mean? What's Joe's example? Is that yeah. Beverly D'Angelo? Yeah, yeah, that's Beverly D'Angelo. She's smart. Yeah, she's hot and hilarious too. She's everything she's you great. want. Yeah, she's hot, except for her teeth. Her teeth are she has a massive overbite. I just don't and, think teeth are that important, personally. I, well, I know. I understand why. <laughs> That's why you're hiding them with a microphone. But listen, the uh, <laughs> I dude, yeah, I, 80s tits were the best. 80s, 90s, early 90s tits, the best. Yeah, and, and then they 80s, got too implanty that it looked like they were hurting the girls. Yeah, you're right. They went too yeah. nuts. Like veiny yeah. and the, the nipple was too spread out or something weird. Yeah, and they would do something like raise their arms and it was just fucking some weird thing. <laughs> some like fucking breach of titty muscle would happen. You're like, oh my God, her tit's going to die. Um, yeah, that, that scene that Mike pulled up with fucking on the Louis show, I, re I got a, another scene, rehearsed it, and showed up and Louis sitting on the couch in between, you know, ready to shoot. And he just goes, yeah, I don't want to shoot this scene. <laughs> and he goes how long will it take you to learn a scene i was like i don't know how many pages he goes like four pages uh, i go 15 minutes and he he has a key he had a thing around his neck and he stuck it in his computer and he just printed out he goes do you mind being like kind of naked and i was just like i don't know what's happening like what are you asking me like and i was like i don't give a fuck and i, I went in the other room and i had just got a, so the towel they had they had to like make because you know, I'm too chubby. It wouldn't fucking wrap around me and stay on. So she had to like sew it together. And then I had to come out in front of everybody, like with just a towel on and run this scene with him. It was the fucking craziest thing ever. You should have been in the times article. Yeah. I think you got, I think you got taken advantage of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I found an example. It's kind of grainy. I'll blur it out for the YouTube version. Yep. Whoa. Uh, I mean, dude, the best. It looks like Ralph Macchio with tits. I mean, you can't yeah. get any better than that. So you can show tits on Patreon? Why like, well, you, you can't rat us out it. like that? <laughs> well, you don't narc. <laughs> yeah. Jesus I think Christ, you can't man. write uh, stuff in the description, but you can probably show it's like they're not gonna look for that. Well, we're live. We'll blur it. We blur it out. Mush will go in and blur it out. <laughs> yeah. You know, the people that don't pay don't get tits. They don't get <laughs> they don't you get should do a, a, a tit Patreon tier. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I show them my tits for twenty five dollars. I uh, I uh, I sent them that picture of my tits that looks like a guy's ass. Um <laughs> you, you know, my wife got fake titties. Joe, oh, you know boy. that, right? Yeah, I think I remember hearing that. Yeah. Yeah, the, I read it in the blogs. What? Yeah, on I read it in the, the blog. Yeah. <laughs> what blog? What on, blog? I read it on Reddit. Oh, Joe writes a blog. <laughs> I, I blog about uh, podcast wives. Um, <laughs> no, I think I remember you talking about it. Yeah, that was uh, that was the best acting I've ever done. When she came home, and she was like, "I'm thinking of getting a, I'm thinking of getting my breast implants," and I was like, "No, 
why? Why would you do that? <laughs> She's like, well, you don't think I should? I go, of course not. Why would you? I love how the left one is bigger than the right one. And <laughs> the left nipple looks like a fucking smushed hamburger. And the, the right one looks like a Filipino boy nipple. Why would you <laughs> fix that? <laughs> was this after was Max? This no. Well, no, she got it before Max. She was working for a doctor in Manhattan who was actually one of the best uh, breast augmentation guys in New York. All the penthouse pets used to go to him, all the strippers. But he had a, a problem that he developed where he wa- he tried, he always got the girls to go bigger than they wanted to go. Mm. And he wound up making girls go too big. And what happened was the nipples were falling off. <laughs> Because when you go too big, um, because they have to take the nipple off and then they put it back on. Yeah. And the breast was too big, so it wouldn't it wouldn't connect again. It like pieces of it. So there's girls walking around with no nipples now because this fucking guy. He actually got sued and but he tried to get he was the best though. He did a great job. And I guess Don was doing laser hair (laughs) removal. And he was like, Hey, if you I, I gotta go on vacation, I need my back lasered. I'll give you I'll give you $10,000 titties for free if you hit my back, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 five times, which is a big mm-hmm. job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and she, and uh, so she was like, she's, I was like, you know, you get in there and fucking get that fucking Jewish guy hairless. You get him <laughs> right for his fucking. And uh, she did. She had to pay for the uh, the um, anesthesiologist mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck it was. That's it. Like a thousand bucks. And wow. he did a great job, but he tried to get her to go big too. And she was like, no, I just want regular, whatever the fuck she got. But after Max, they kind of, he did a great job. I got a, I mean, they had a, they had a little, you know, a little sag to him. They didn't have any of those weird things or everything. There was no scarring. Yeah. She went through the nipple, you know, the, so he did, he was a master at it. her tits are great. I love Don's titties, but after Max, you know, <laughs> You know, Max kind of fucked him up a little bit. So Max owes me, you know. Put he does. Out come out through the tits? Or oh, you mean <laughs> like chewing on him? What's that? No, no, no. Oh, she never, she, I remember she didn't, she tried to breastfeed. She breastfed for a week and a half. And then it was the middle of the night and she's crying. She can't get milk out of her tit. I'm sitting there holding pumps on her tits. And there's just, it looked like her tits were crying. You know, just a little <laughs> drip coming out. And I was like, we just, I'm going to get formula. I'm not doing this. Yeah, he had breast milk for a week. It's not every kid gets formula. I'm not doing this. You're crying. The baby's hungry. (laughs) Your tits aren't fucking working right right now. This is stupid. And I just went to CVS or whatever, whatever, Dwayne Reed, and I got aluminum, whatever the fuck formula it was. And uh, he's been he just did that way. But yeah, breastfeeding is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. nightmare. A woman I actually think it's weird that your tits are like sexual, and then the next thing you know, they're to feed somebody. What a complete one eighty! I do you wonder mean? if anyone's ever had like the husband eating the pussy while the baby eats the tits. That would be I'm something. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. I just think that would be fun, dude. Yeah. You can't. The babies remember everything, even if they don't remember it. <laughs> No, but he's not looking. He's looking straight ahead, sucking on Teddy, uh, and then you're down there munching up some box. I think this is decent. First of all, you don't want to be down on a box that just had a baby. Trust me. Every pussy that just gave birth looks like Foster Brooks. It's it's <laughs> terrible. It's um, terrible. From Bum in the chat said he's done it. He's Yeah, but he's an alcoholic. Okay? So am I. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not recovering. <laughs> He's out there. Uh, he's still out. He's still out there, dude. He, uh, you know what I mean? He, I, he can pass out in the middle of it and not remember anything. Michael, do you have a photo? You, Mike started That's, to pop. Well, pipe you guys in. are talking about nipples falling off, and because of Instagram's uh, rules, this woman did this. Oh, cool! So yeah, she I has don't... no nipples. Can, wait, oh. can you do this on Instagram? What if you put a male nipple on top of your female nipple? Does that make what? it safe? Because oh, you can do yeah. male nipple on Instagram. Like, you could be shirtless. Yes. So it's the female nipple you can't have. So why can't you just put a man nipple on top of it? 
I don't know why America has this crazy fucked up weird Agreed. thing with tits. I mean, it, it nowhere else in the world do they really care. Well, I guess in certain places, fucking Saudi Arabia, they give a shit. But listen. <laughs> yeah, you can't show a mouth. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll bury her up to her neck and throw rocks at her fucking tits. <laughs> I, but yes, I, uh, but I, and, yeah, America, we have some weird thing with titties. I mean, and it's 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 embedded in us. I went to Aruba uh, and we stayed at this one Aruba, Aruba, <laughs> Aruba. That was nice. We, I <laughs> love Aruba. We uh, we stay at this place that had a private beach, the Renaissance Hotel, and they have two private beaches you have to take a boat to. Uh, and when you get there, there's a topless beach and there's the regular beach. And we went to the topless beach one day. We didn't know it was topless. It was just a smoking Dutch woman with her fucking natural Dutch cans hanging out. And I, I couldn't, I was just so fucking giddy. And at one point I'm like, why am I acting this way? Like, why am I, why do I just want to go look at her tits? It was just like, it was amazing. It's hard to not like, to. Yeah, but it's just tits after a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just tits. I don't know. I love tits. I still get excited to see tits every night. They're the best. You're Sarah's tits. Just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, Live tits. Open... It's like. I was just saying, that? you open up that closet door behind Joe and it's just tons of like Playboy tits. <laughs> yeah. Just, just like a fireman locker out. room. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> just bouncing everywhere. <laughs> No, she tits are great. I love tits. I mean, I mean, it's not my. I, I don't care, but I'm just saying that we have a really crazy thing with nudity in America. Like, you know, that's what I mean. Europe, there, there's just tits willy nilly. They're everywhere. Yeah, and dicks too. They don't care about dicks, and they don't give a shit about dicks. Side boobs, great. Also, isn't it exciting when you go to Central Park and one lady decides to go topless? Isn't yes. that so wild that when you see that and you're like, good for her. The yeah. first time I ever saw it, I was with Mateo Lane and it was such a bummer because I was with a gay person. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and he's like, girl, get those fixed or whatever it was. And I was like, <laughs> I, I felt like I couldn't really properly enjoy it because I was with the gay. <laughs> What did he say? Get them fixed? No, I don't know. He said something, but he was like, we were a critical. I mean, they weren't great tits. It looked like my my cousin Jeff walking by shirtless, but still <laughs> it was tits and it was it was a thrill. I mean, you just you want to see tits. That's it. Yeah, it's never it's never awesome tits in New York that they whip out. It's always like a tit with hair around the nipple. You know what I mean? Same <laughs> with like Key West. Fucking, really? Yeah, you go to Garden of Eden, that topless bar, and it's just like a, a bag of old catcher's mitts. But uh, you never see like a, a hot, hot lady topless on one of those bars. Do you have to be? So it's a topless bar. Or do you have to be naked too? Do you have to have? It's your... a it's clothing optional. Yeah, but here's the thing with that is I don't want to sit on a stool or a chair that somebody just sat on bare ass with a because your asshole opens up in a chair. My asshole opens up all the time, just randomly. But you know, you can wear shorts. You can wear shorts and be topless. It's it's clothing optional. So you can wear whatever what you want. You, you can put a napkin down, a cocktail napkin, or an asshole. What napkin. if you sit on a chair that some old bag was just sitting on, and then you get up and your shorts have just old lady shit stains on them because <laughs> her pussy juice and ass juice has been mixing in her fucking chair for an hour while she's having margaritas. Ugh. It's well, just when your you ass. get that old, your pussy dries up, so you're not really like leaving oh. a trail. So, oh, it does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Maybe that was my wife's pussy I heard last night. Maybe was... <laughs> <laughs> just a dry fart. What a fucking show this has been. Sarah, you have a uh, <laughs> side boob is fucking great. I love. Side I think boob. I'm. I I think I like under boob. What is un underneath the? Oh, oh, when the. Yeah, no, yeah. that's sexy too. From back back in the eighties again, when they used, to wear the, they used to wear the, sh the yeah, yeah, they used to wear the shirts, the half shirts. Yeah, yeah, that's hot. And I do like fucking tan lines. I love a tan line. Tan line. I like boob sweat. You lick that bottom thing where it's all wet and drippy. I'm gonna <laughs> throw up. Just like you know, you swipe your finger along in the summer, and then you just, and then you just take a little tit sweat off. I mean, what what are you guys doing? 
I'm just living my life, man. Joe's just putting heat on my tits. Yeah. I put the humidifier over her nipples when she's sleeping. <laughs> um, but yes, you're going to mention Sarah's special. Sarah's got a special coming out. When, when is this happening? What's happening? Tell us. Oh, Jesus. It's already on. out. It's been out for a week. It's been out for Sa- a week. It's on YouTube. All right, it's on YouTube. Sarah's one of the funny. I've said this all the time. Sarah, you're one of the funniest people I fucking know. Your stand up is so original and hilarious. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I just, I, I fucking love, I love watching your stuff. So uh, it's on YouTube right now. What, what's it called? Voluptuous Boy. Voluptuous Boy. What? You guys got to stop watching these gay movies. I don't even know what, <laughs> what, what the fuck. I mean, watch an American movie for once, you fucking weirdos. <laughs> It's up. Why, what's it got? Like almost twenty thousand views in a week. Yeah, it's it's at yeah, it's at twenty or eight, like near nineteen thousand right now. <laughs> Aaron just said farts, queefs, poop, movies, sex, tits. Let's do plugs. Butt <laughs> <laughs> <Funny>. plugs. <laughs> He's got a very solid point. <laughs> um, here it is, right here. Now, can we see a little bit of it, Sarah? Oh, do you mind? Come on, hit the uh. push. Oh, this is awful. No mush. All right. Well, mush, I guess, doesn't listen Thank to me. You, oh, one second. Get into the, a good part. Go further down. <laughs> Go right to the end when she says good night. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, all right, whatever. Mush will pull it up when he gets it up. Um, yeah, that's great. I mean, you've had a great year, Sarah, don't you think? In this pandemic, you've had a an album, you got a special, you got all kinds of stuff, doing all kinds of skits. Yeah, all kinds of. I like I like great, making videos. What's that? I like making videos. You really do, and you do great videos. Your this is when I learned how funny you were, because um, I started watching your, your your videos that you were making. I I was cracking up. I kept wake. I was waking my wife up. I'm like, you got to watch this. You got to watch this video. <laughs> your your makeup videos were the best. I don't know why you stopped. I ran out of ideas. Oh, just put mayonnaise on your face. I mean, <laughs> you would, you was, it was so funny because everything on the internet was this mush. What is that? I mean, you covered Sarah's face right in the middle of me talking. To her. Um, what, what was it? Mush? What did you put up? Okay. Oh, that's nice. Put it on anytime. Okay, oh. cool. Yeah. The guy's saying anytime he feels yeah. sad or happy, he puts it on. I know, but you don't interrupt my story by covering Sarah's <laughs> face with the con. Put that up right at the end. I mean, we got it. Have some timing, mushy. I've been mushed. It's okay. Um, <laughs> I forget what I was saying now. Fuck, I had a good point for you. Oh, you got to do those videos because you, you, that was all that was on fucking Instagram at the point. Every time I turned someone, there was someone putting makeup on, somebody teaching somebody how to yeah. do this and that. And all of a sudden I turned, I'm like, no, not Sarah. And then I think you've got a marker and just drew <laughs> eyebrows in. And I'm like, what the fuck? I, it, it floored me. Fucking floored me. So oh, thanks. good for you. Uh, Mush, do you got the clip? Yep. Right here. All wow. right, here ah, come on. It's always good. Oh, um, this is going great, guys. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> That's how you that's how you know a professional is when they call out what they're doing the whole time. Oh wow, I'm great. Um a great clip. <laughs> it's hard to do shows. Like one time I did Perfect this show clip. and this guy came up to me afterwards and he was like, Can I be brutally honest with you? And I was like, No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was close. <laughs> uh-huh. Almost got my feelings hurt. <laughs> I see him on my back like an adult, you know. <laughs> All right, that's okay. it. Much. Oh, um, no, that was great. Second clip was great. I like the clip that you pull up as a sip of water. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't. I don't know. I did it all the time. Most no, it's just hard because you watch yourself and then you're like, oh no, you just realize some of your bad habits sometimes. 
That was my that was my fault. I I told Mush to do that on the fly. We should have had a clip ready to go. I was just like Mush, and I know poor Mush was sweating and panicking, ugh, trying to listen to a clip without it playing in the background. I'm sorry, Mush. So I've put you in that position, you fucking <laughs> shitty producer. Listen, I'm kidding. Um, Mush, not a fan. <laughs> Um, well, that's great. Now you shot this at uh, New York Comedy Club. Yeah, I did it last is year it, before pandemic hit. Is it a one camera shoot? Yeah, it's a one camera. I didn't. Is I didn't want any fancy cranes or drone oh, shots. Yeah. Just one yeah, shot. Why you, yeah. Why would you do that? <laughs> have New York. It's a single <laughs> cam. <laughs> What's uh? Now is it the same as your hour that you yeah. your CD? Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, well, listen, it's unbelievable. Go check it out and do me a favor. Uh, like it, comment and share it and subscribe to it. That's how you get her on the algorithm. The way you do it is if you see this, go there, watch it and, and, uh, and like it and comment. And then it gets out there and more people see it. Unfortunately, uh, that's the way it works. You got to you got to, uh, it's up to you guys. If you guys, uh, not unfortunately, but it's up to you guys to make it happen. So please go check it out. One of the funniest people ever. We're going to do, uh, we're starting right now. Uh, we're going to give a little plugs. That is the uh, first half of YKWD. You know what, dude? We're going to go into the Patreon extra 10, 15, 20, whatever it winds up being uh, right now for Patreon members only. So if you want to watch the next, we got some uh, news stories. I got some movies. We got a couple things to bring up for Joe and, and Sarah. We know Joe is a fucking movie snob, and we know Sarah is too. They're just snobs. <laughs> um, so, uh, we're going to talk about the Oscars coming up on Patreon only, patreon.com. And we're we'll going to be reading out the names. We got around, uh, I don't know, 15 new members. We're going to be, uh, shouting your names out. So, thanks for joining. Uh, remember, next month, uh, we have Ari Spears coming on. We have another special guest coming on. So, next month, this month was crazy. Tim Dillon, Andrew Schultz, Joe, and Sarah. Crazy. Next month's going to be crazier. Make sure you sign up, patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Uh, Joe, where are you going to be? Uh, Paramount Theater in Austin, Tejas, May you be with? 15th. I'll be with myself, goddammit. Some local dick is going to open, but Paramount Theater, May 15th. Come get tickets. I cannot fill a theater unless you guys come um, on my Are you going to have your special opener? <laughs> no. Your special opener coming? It's going to sell 900 tickets. No, I don't think so. But God um, damn it, your fucking lucky horseshoe that shows up. That not fucking... anymore. It's not lucky. I come out and everyone's looking over my shoulder. <laughs> um, That's, so not there... true. That's not true. In Tampa, everybody was saying Louis funny, but you came out and fucking crushed it after him. That's true. Yeah. I am not as funny, but you did good. Yeah, I did well. <laughs> Just something. No, you, no, everybody was like Joe fucking annihilated. They were all, they were saying it like, dude, Joe, like they were they didn't expect you to come out and crush after after Louis because he killed it. Of course, Louis always kills, but you crushed it. So that's not true. So I you you're it. gonna be there by yourself. How many? What's the capacity? Is it full capacity? I don't think so. I don't know. I hope not. I think In it's Texas? like half capacity. Yeah, I think Texas it's full capacity now. Yeah, Shut up, full. Sarah. It's ten percent capacity. <laughs> yeah, good luck selling fucking they, a thousand seats. Listen, they, I, they I can only sell sixty Texas. tickets max. Sixty. That's sixty is a sellout. They said. Um, no, I don't know what it is. I have no idea, but I'm gonna be there, and then uh, <laughs> Kansas City and uh, Des Moines in uh, in June. I gotta get my dates up, but uh, Austin is the big one. So come, travel for it. Come down and check it out. Make sure you check out Joe List at the Paramount Theater. He is one of the funniest fuckers going right now. He is aka the truth, and uh, I love him to death. Sarah, where are you going to be? <laughs> Whoops. Nowhere. Oh, I'm no, at Royersford. Royersford. With Adrian. Yes. Royersford, Pennsylvania. Oh, that's going to be a fucking killer show. Oh, my God. Yeah. Adrian Appalucci, yeah. uh, Sarah Talamash. <laughs> uh, is going to be at Soul Joe's, which is the new fucking, uh, you know, the new Madison Square Garden of Comedy, yeah. for Christ's sakes. <laughs> this fucking kid stepped in shit, didn't he? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, 
Hey, I got a fucking. <laughs> I got a gold mine in a fucking parking lot. <laughs> I, I just bought a comedy club. Nobody wants to come to. Eh, I'm going to do it outside. I'm going to drop some sand and get fucking Andrew Dice Clay and Louie and fucking Russell Peters is showing up. And <laughs> Sebastian Scalco just did 17 shows there. No, good for him. He's oh, a good shit. kid. So no, I'm kidding. That was a lie too. Um, well, all right. Check her out. Mush. What do you got? Mike V Suarez. Check him out. Where are you going to be mush? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think they have anything till July. Well, I'll be back in Texas next it. month. So, <laughs> All right, listen, here's the deal. Mush is probably going to be down at the uh, Village Lantern, which has just opened up. Brand new club. They redid everything. It's down by the cellar. And uh, Joe Russell is booking it, and Mush will probably be down there with Joe Russell uh, all every night during the week, especially Fridays and Saturdays. So if you're in the Village, go down and support the Village Lantern. And the Comedy Cellar is open, too, which I will be uh, performing at. I performed at last week. Uh, last sa- Saturday night, four shows. Unbelievable to be back. Uh, we're going to talk about all that right now. You guys in the chat, all you ladybugs, hang the fuck out. We ain't going anywhere. This is for you. And uh, all you guys, all you fans watching on YouTube, please subscribe, hit the button, and uh, make sure you like it and comment and thumbs up it. Uh, all you fucks that are thumbs down in it, you guys fucking mental patience. I mean, who does that? Who thumbs down something? Who thumbs down? I mean, you thumbs down a restaurant that, you know, gave you salmonella or had yeah. shitty tiramisu. You don't thumbs down a podcast. What's wrong with you, mental patient? But all you other people, thanks so much. Subscribe, like, and comment, and make sure to patreon.com. And go to robertkellylive.com. All my dates are up there. I am going to be, Jesus Christ, I'm all over the place. I, I have a bunch of dates right here. Mush has them. Bang. We're going to be at New Newtown, PA on May 1st. I can't wait to do that gig. I've done it before. Beautiful town. We're going to be in East Brunswick Square Mall, May 15th. The Paper Mill, June 12th. Uh, they have me as Robert Kennedy. Hopefully, they'll change that. And then uh, the Funny Bone, and it goes on and on and on. And, of course, I'll be at the cellar, so keep up with me on Instagram and on my dates, and I will let you know that. And go to uh, comicwearables.com. My merch is up there right now. Catherine Kelly's up there. YKWD shirts. Go up there. Get yourself a shirt. Uh, we got to get a code, Mush. Fuck, I keep forgetting that. Uh, uh, they got the Robert Kelly shirt. Look at that. Look at how sweet that is, right? I'm going to get Joe one of those. Would you wear that, Joe? Yeah, I'll wear that. Can I can I just say something really funny that has happened in the comments? That uh, yeah. you got called Bobby Kennedy on the website, and then um, Crumb Crumbum writes, "I hope you don't end up like John Kennedy." And I don't know if uh, Crumbum's aware of this. Robert Kennedy also shot yeah. in the face. Yeah, yeah, but not as dramatic. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, he got yeah. overshadowed. No, yeah, more I dramatic. Mean- are you who got, he had who just was, given a speech? I mean, he he was winning. He was going to end the war. He was winning, and he literally goes, "Now it's on to Chicago, and we're going to win there." And then he gets shot like a second later, right in front of his wife. Yeah, JFK. Well, was, he was in a car. He was done anyways. Who gives JFK a shit? got his fucking brains splattered on a trunk, and his wife was picking it up like like she dropped a salad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they made a Come movie on. about it. Yeah, do, a few. JFK, we're gonna, let, listen, we'll talk. Let, this is a good topic of conversation. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to go to the names right now. There you go. We're going to wrap up. We have the names, Sarah and Joe, uh, of the new Patreon people that join every Ooh. week. And usually uh, the people, like, if you guys could do it, the $10 people, we give a little something extra to. And if you could read the $10 ones and just whatever, sing a song. Say something to them, whatever you want. I can't I'll see read. the name. Gary. I see. I'm going to do Gary Winters. Thank you for being a member. His name is Ryan Freer. Ryan Freer. Hey, any relation to Stephen Freer's author of High Fidelity or director, I meant to say, of High Fidelity? Is that good? That was great. Sarah? <laughs> Jay Dink. That's a great last name. Touching Dinks. We love Dinks. <laughs> We love Dinks. Hey, Joey V, is that is that Joey Votto of the Cincinnati Reds formerly? I don't know who he plays for now. <laughs> Joey V, Joey Vagina. What's up, Joey Vag? Hole. 
Low key is me. I love that. That's his name. Low key is me. What's up? El Perfecto Cumbro. Nice. That's what I'm talking What's about. What's the emoji? Mike, the Mike, 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 Mike L. I love it. Great. Jay Dink is fucking awesome. And then we got Joey V. Joey. And then there you go. There's another one. Some guy three. Uh-oh, Are you related guy. to cream of some young guy? <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, Classic. Dusted that one off. Bradford Beefcake. Thank you very much. Brandon, what the fuck is 666? Who the fuck? Oh, that's got to be. That's got to be. Uh, oh, forget it. I'm going to mention it. Brandon Brand- Layla D. Bur- Bur- Burberson. Robertson. There you go. Uh, there you go. Shane. Just Shane. That's it. No, Plain Shane. No, Shane. Shane Shane. You got to give him a little extra. Shane Shane Shane. Shane. Shane, Shane, Shane fools. Fools. All right. Now, Jack. Jack me off. In the bus. <laughs> there you go. All right. Brian Capone. What's up? Loved your dad. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for being a Patreon member. You guys are the best. Sarah, make sure you go to YouTube. Check out her special. Um, I predict it right now. She's going to be one of the biggest comics uh, in the world. Her and Joe. They're going to be making movies. They're going to be touring. <laughs> and uh, you're going to be like, uh, you know, they're going to be like Bob who? Yeah. That's not true. Bob Hope. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> uh, maybe Sarah. There goes our something. career. <laughs> maybe Sarah's going to skyrocket to the fame. Um, Joe List, what do you got? Where are you going to be again? You're going to be at the Paramount in Austin, Paramount Texas, Theater. which is uh, nice the people see. at the Paramount are fucking great. The lady who's booking it is amazing. Uh, the creek in the cave is there. Are you gonna stop by there? Yeah, you gonna go a day early? By, yeah, stop by the creek. It, yeah, I'm gonna are you going by, better? I'm gonna stop by Rogan's I, and and do a whole thing. It's gonna be a big trip. Are you doing Rogan? I think so. I don't know if we're allowed to say that, but I mean, yeah, yes. <laughs> He's mad. Bobby left again. I'm gonna take my no, dick out. Have have fun on Rogan. Don't take your dick out, Joe. Why? Because I, I can't blur it out. It takes too long to blur your Cause fat huge. long hog out. <laughs> um, no, have fun. You don't have the Rogan. bandwidth. Tell him I said what's up. It's always you good. You don't have the bandwidth. <laughs> that's funny. Um, that's great. Are you going to go to Creek in the Cave too? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Creek in the Cave. I'm going to go to Magnolia. I'm going to be all over the. I'm going to be all over the place. I'm there for a week. Awesome. Fucking awesome. Um, all right, man. Well, thanks for having on uh, Mush, Mike V. Suarez. Make sure you check him out on Instagram uh, uh, and Twitter and Facebook. He's also the producer of the show and a very funny comedian. He killed last night with me at the uh, Jim Thorpe. Jesus, what a place. That was so awesome. I want to thank everybody that came out last night to Jim Thorpe, PA, to the theater, both shows. Fucking awesome. I want to thank Joe Russell and uh, Vinny, FBI Vinny. You guys came all the way the fuck out there. I had such a blast. Um, and again, I will be, go to robertkellylive.com, find out all my dates. Newport Theater is the next one. Uh, I can't wait to do it. Robert Kelly Live right there. See that? Boom. All my dates are up there. Go to comicwearables.com, get yourself a nice YKWD shirt, rep it at the show. I'll give you a hug. And uh, make sure you check out Joe and Sarah, uh, two of the funniest comics out there, and I love them to death. Uh, s- s- <laughs> and uh, and what else, Mush? What else do we gonna do? That's that's all we do. We got everything. And, we did. We hit all the beats. And we'll see you guys next week. You know what? Dude? See you later. I want to tell you about a amazing company that me and my wife found. We've been going to New Hampshire for the last thirty years, uh, vacationing, and we love it up there. We've been renting, and we've been a guest. And we've always wanted to own, but we couldn't afford it. It was just out of our reach until we found Tiny Homes of Maine. Uh, This company is amazing. It's a husband and wife. It's a family-owned business, and they make the most amazing tiny homes on the market. They're built to withstand Maine winters, and they look amazing. They're fully customizable, and uh, they have three different sizes. You should check them out. If you're thinking about you know, having a second home or maybe downsizing or, you know, just having uh, an office, 
go tiny and go to tiny homes of Maine. The company is amazing and uh, they help you every single step of the way from finding the right one for you, from making it from the, the ground up and to finding about the laws in your area and financing. You couldn't go with a more amazing company and a more amazing family than tiny homes of Maine. What's up, dude? You doing Pancake Sunday? Well, don't use crappy, generic Cisco horseshit syrup. You want to use the best Bear Mountain Maple, made right in New Hampshire, family owned, made the right way. Check them out. The best syrup on the planet, Bear Mountain Maple Syrup. They have so many different kinds bourbon barrel. They have, uh, I think they have cinnamon, it, but the regular is my favorite. Comes in a nice little bucket. Make sure you go right now. Check them out. Bear Mountain Maple, the only syrup you should have on Pancake Sunday, dude. You've been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.